Beetlejuice Beetlejuice early draft featured Maitland's cameo. Here's why it was cut. Exclusive. Alfred Goh explains how he and fellow scribe Miles Miller toyed with including Alec Baldwin and Gina Davis characters. Any longtime Beetlejuice fan who kept tabs on what the actors said over the years can tell you that two of the original stars, Alec Baldwin and Gina Davis, would not return for the sequel. Davis commented multiple times that nobody contacted her to reprise the role of Barbara Maitland, and director Tim Burton even explained why he chose not to bring those particular characters back. However, the screenwriters on Beetlejuice Beetlejuice were prepared for a different scenario. Burton's Wednesday scribe Alfred Goh, who penned the screenplay for the sequel with another alum of the Netflix show, Miles Miller, tells Entertainment Weekly how an early draft of the script featured a cameo appearance from the Maitlands in the ending, though it was ultimately scrapped. It's funny with the Maitlands because we asked Tim and we went back and forth, Go recalls. There was a version where they just showed up at the end, but the problem is they're ghosts. So they kind of needed to look like they were 35, which was never going to happen. I think Tim felt and Miles and I agreed that their story had been told. So how do we move on from that? The first Beatle Juice of 1988 from a screenplay by Michael McDowell and Warren Scarron, starred Baldwin, now 66, and Davis, now 68, as Adam and Barbara Maitland, a married couple who move into their country home in Winter River Con when they die in a car crash, they find themselves haunting the house as ghosts. Unable to leave, they decide to call upon the demonic bio-exorcist Beetlejuice, Michael Keaton, to evict the new living residents, the Dietzes, Charles, Jeffrey Jones, Delia, Catherine O'Hara, and Lydia, Winona Ryder. For the sequel, in theaters this weekend, 36 years after the original's release, Go says Burton wanted to focus on the characters of Lydia, Delia, and Beetlejuice. The first movie is really about the Maitlands, Go explains. It was really Alec Baldwin and Gina Davis' movie for a good portion. They're the protagonist who called Beetlejuice against the Dietz family so he said he really wanted to focus on them. He wasn't interested in doing fan service or being slavish, go ads. So I think he was very much about, how do we tell the next iteration of the story? Beetlejuice Beetlejuice picks up with Lydia as a single mother whose husband, Richard Santiago Cabrera, died years earlier. Having used her talents to see Ghost to become the host of a paranormal reality show called Ghost House, she returns to Winter River with her daughter Astrid, Jenna Ortega, and Delia to mourn the loss of her father. Astrid gets tricked by a local ghost, Jeremy Arthur Conti, into opening a portal to the afterlife and trading her life for his, so Lydia is forced to summon Beetlejuice once again to save her family. The story explains away the Maitland's absence in a line of dialogue that states Adam and Barbara found a loophole and were finally able to leave the house. I think we even threw in a joke where Astrid goes, How convenient, Gove says. We try to find ways. Could we nod to the Maitlands? I think Tim was finally like, Let's not do that. We have a reason why they're not there anymore, so let's just move on from that. Catching up with EW at CinemaCon in April of this year, Davis said she hadn't spoken with Burton about the sequel, but noted, I can't wait to see it. That movie means a lot to me, she said at the time. I'll tell you something funny. Some of the time when somebody recognizes me, they say, I love your movie. I say, what movie is it? It's always Beetlejuice. <laughs>